Good morning, world. How are you today? Are you setting a positive intention for your day? Are you a morning person? Um, I can't say that I am a morning person. However, there are some mornings I'm super cheery and some mornings I really let myself sleep in. So today I got to sleep in and wake up on my own without an alarm, which is always a nice treat because most of the time throughout the year, I wake up to an alarm to take my daughter to school, get her ready, make her breakfast. Now, speaking of breakfast, I, do you eat breakfast? What kind of breakfast do you like? Uh, as a little girl in Russia, we had three kind of varieties of breakfast food. One was porridge. One was what we call butterbrot, which was some sort of piece of bread with some sort of piece of meat, so salami or some kind of a bologna on top of it and the third was some sort of a type of egg but i love 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 porridge i think that it is it has like a really nice consistency to it it's warming and it especially works really well on some cooler mornings so today i would like to present to you a vegan apple cinnamon quinoa porridge and it is so delicious and I cannot wait to show you. So we are going to jump into some very zoomed in shots. We're trying something new today on, on the channel. But before we do that, I wanted to show you my kind of a ninja trick to chopping in apple, all right? So we have one Granny Smith apple and what I do is I use this apple cutter. Bam just like that. So we have all of these little slices now. And then I just take these slices and chop them up. This just makes the chopping job. I find it to be a lot easier. So that is my first ninja trick for you. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make our quinoa first. And then separately, we're going to make our apple jam that we're going to mix into this porridge. Now, the thing about this porridge, what makes it so amazing? It actually has so much protein in it because it's quinoa, quinoa is a complete protein, and I'll talk a little bit more about quinoa a little bit later in this video. And then we have apple, so it has so much fiber. So this is high satiety, high protein, stress reducing porridge. You ready to get started? I know I am. So to get started on our porridge, we have half a cup of quinoa. It is always a good idea to rinse your quinoa unless it comes pre-rinsed, which is what I have going on here, but we usually rinse it. So for half a cup of quinoa, I add one cup of water. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And after we bring this to a boil. Now, so with this recipe, we are not going to worry about adding any extra butter or seasonings into our quinoa itself because the flavor is going to come from the apple compote. Quinoa is a fantastic gluten-free choice. It contains all of your essential amino acids, which makes it a complete protein. It also is a great source of magnesium, and magnesium is needed in more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It helps to maintain normal nerve and muscle function, supports your healthy immune system, keeps the heartbeat steady, and helps the bones to remain strong. So the most interesting thing about magnesium is that if your body is in a state of stress or anxiety, it really depletes itself of magnesium. So, which means that with this quinoa being so high in magnesium, guess what? This porridge is stress reducing. So the more quinoa you eat, actually the less stressed and anxious you will feel. How about that? Sign me up for that kind of breakfast, right? 
So our quinoa is coming to a boil and what, all we're going to do is we're going to add half a cup of almond milk. So that'll give it the creamiest consistency. I'm going to stir it for a bit. We're going to wait until it comes to a boil. And then we're going to cover and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. So what we're doing here is we're, in essence, we're overcooking quinoa, creating that creamy porridge consistency. So when it's done, we're not going to see the grains as you would typically see them. They're going to be a little bit more mushy, which is what we want. They're going to be a little bit more like a risotto style. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to prepare our apple compote. And for that, we have our one Granny Smith apple, which we chop. I showed you the whole ninja trick for that. All right, so the apple goes into the pot together with a tablespoon of coconut sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, this is going to be so yummy, and juice of a quarter of a lemon. We're going to stir that. And now we're going to cover both pots and we're going to let everything cook on low for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna keep coming back every about five minutes or so to stir, make sure that nothing is burning. We'll see you in 30. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and our porridge is ready. See how nice and creamy this looks? But the grains are not coming apart and our apple compote is ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the apples right into our porridge and then to give it even more nutritional value we're going to add a tablespoon of chia seeds. Now what about chia seeds? They are a fantastic source of omega-3 fatty acids the fiber, antioxidants, iron and calcium. So now to make this extra super creamy and delicious, I'm adding a quarter cup of organic peanut butter. Now that is such a nice surprise ingredient. And this, we're gonna mix everything together. So now you can serve this Hot. You can eat this immediately as it is, or you can actually refrigerate it overnight. It holds really well. We have tested it both ways. And enjoy it now. Let's serve it up into our bowls right here. It smells so good. There we go. Right into the bowls this goes. Delicious and nutritious. Everyone in your family will love this so much. Here we are. And voila, here's our the most delicious and nutritious and satisfying, anxiety reducing, stress reducing, Good mood elevating vegan quinoa porridge with cinnamon apples and it is so so yummy and I cannot wait to taste this. Do you like my fancy spoons? I think I found these on my last trip to Bali. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so good you have to make this and try it and if you like peanut butter this is especially special for you, especially special. Is there, can we make a word out of especially special? Especially, no, I'm just gonna start, stop right there. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today to this episode. I am here. I'm going back into my kitchen to create more amazing, fresh, delicious, nutritious recipes for you to enjoy. Please give the like to this video and subscribe to the channel and share with all of your friends. They'll be so happy that you did. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Have an amazing day. I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life.